Hello everybody. This is the uh, improved circuit for the FM receiver. Last year I placed a circuit online and uh, it seemed to have worked okay. But uh, I've spent some time going over that circuit and just trying to refine it and came up with one that's much, much better. And instead of using two transistors, I really only need one. So just one transistor uh, for the FM receiver. So um, it just kind of simplifies things um, really a whole lot. And so on the circuit here, we have a 2N3904 transistor. Uh, we have a coil that has a quarter inch diameter. Again, it's one quarter inch. Um, and uh, it has three and a half turns. Well, we have a 10 nanofarad cap and a 10 k ohm resistor and it's supplied with uh, 9 volts. Now as far as for tuning, um, basically I used uh, two pieces of cardboard and each one has aluminum foil uh, and uh, I use that to be able to tune with so these two pieces of aluminum foil create the plates for that of the capacitor and by adjusting what the uh, what the cross-sectional area is as you can see here I can go ahead and move one top of the other I'm able to adjust the amount of capacitance so I'm able to tune now the actual uh, squares or the rectangular uh, uh, parts of the aluminum foil here. They're actually a little bit larger than what is actually needed, but for right now, just for testing, it works fine. The other thing also, of course, is I have a piece of, uh, of packing uh, tape, so therefore they're insulated from each other, so they will not come in contact. And so, let's take a look at um, how the circuit uh, functions. I have an amplifier up here, and so I'm going to take the output of the circuit and uh, amplify it and uh, be able to tune in stations. So let's go ahead and get the um, battery connected to the amplifier now. And let's adjust our tuning. Now having to do this one-handed is a little hard. So with the setup that I have here, I'm able to tune the entire FM band, which is really, really nice. Now, the tuning is, um, I say, very sensitive because the amount of, um, or the size of the plates really uh, causes a, kind of a drastic change on the amount of capacitance. But I do plan to use basically uh, strips that are smaller. Uh, therefore, I, I'll have a little bit more control over the tuning. Uh, but I'll do that um, on the uh, next run. get something here.
the comfort of having a parent house. What have you been like in Gaza? What you'd seen? Once I start speaking about some details, these details, they they can't stand the, the, the picture of it. Like they can't stand the fact that we So again, let me just kinda You can see all the stations that it does uh, per se hit as I move the plates. Okay, I will leave it there for right now. Let me go ahead and turn it off and just show you what the circuit looks like. Let me unplug the uh, battery here. There we go. All right, let me bring the uh, notes over. So the circuit looks like this right here. Okay. So the output is going to be taken actually from the base of the uh, transistor, as you can see there. There's a 10 nanofarad cap here that's going to basically uh, just provide you the audio output and basically in a sense short all the RF down to ground so it's a smoothing cap for the audio. Uh, one of the things that um, it does have from the previous circuit which I, I placed online, it has a diode. Either a 1N4148 or a 1N914 is placed here and the reason for it is because I want to raise what the, what the bias point of the transistor is again. Uh, tuning is done between the collector and the emitter. You can see that the uh, plates that I'm using right here to tune with, and again, these are just these two plates, okay? And uh, the wires, of course, are connected to the circuit, that red and yellow right there. And those are connected between the collector and the emitter again. Now, the transistor. I've tried a couple of transistors on here, but the one that uh, works every time and it works with the highest uh, audio output is the 2N3904. So definitely go ahead and stick to that one. We have the 10K ohm resistor and that goes up to plus 9 volts. And we have the coil that's been wrapped around really just a pencil. I had one of these uh, pencils lying around and so I wrapped it around a pencil. It's uh, about a quarter inch in diameter. So I wrapped three and a half turns on there and uh, just connected to the breadboard as you can see there and uh, that works really really well now I have not actually tried it on a PCB board yet but off the breadboard it works fine and um, hope you all uh, give the circuit a try and um, hopefully you get uh, as much uh, of a quality and um, as fun as I have all right see you next time